is the last um, video that I'm posting on travel organization and most likely when this video goes up I will be on my way back from our trip so but um, I wanted to talk about a long-haul flight we our flight is going to be about eight and a half hours there and nine and a half hours back so um, I had prepared some items that I'm hoping are gonna help me get through this flight so um, Let's, um, so you've seen already by now the carry and what I pack in my carry on. So I'm going to be kind of going over some of the stuff that and how I will be using it. So, first is first pre flight. So, it's things that you do at home that I'm going to do at home to get me planned for my flight. So, first, I'm going to download an app for our airline and check out which movies are playing on there so that way I don't download the same movies onto my device uh, or shows so that way I have variety. I'm going to make sure that all of my books are downloaded to my Kobo that I have purchased uh, so that way I don't, I'm not in a panic last minute trying to download it on the airport when the Wi-Fi is not that great. Um, so then I'll make up a list uh, of stuff that you want to have um, packed in your carry-on for in-flight entertainment so that way you don't forget anything and it makes it a little less stressful and I also um, yeah so just make sure you pack everything that you are uh, planning on using on on your flight I have my little beauty thing my pillows my blankets all that stuff so so whatever it is that you want to pack or use on an in-flight you should you should make a list so that way you don't forget whether you make a list on a phone on a piece of paper or have a whole journal like i do where i write everything down that's totally up to you so then at the airport we have to be there three hours prior but because we're about an hour and a bit away from the airport sometimes we get there four hours ahead because that's the way we are so anyways I just never want to be late I'd rather be early than late so we tend to get to the airport check in as soon as we can go through security and then assess how much time we have left if we still have like two hours left we'll go and find a good sit-down restaurant and have a good meal if not we'll just pick up a quick buy to eat from whichever like if there's like a subway or tim hortons which is a very popular one at in canada so but most of the time we do have enough time to sit down and have a proper meal because none of us are all that crazy about plain food and uh having a good meal uh, is important and our flight next flight is um, leaves right around supper time so we're planning on having like a dinner and um, then we'll see if we're hungry for when the dinner is served on a plane or if we're uh, just gonna wait till breakfast time so then um, it's also I'd like to grab some snacks here uh, whether it's like sweet salty snacks or healthier snacks things that I can take onto the plane and a big bottle of water for everybody so that way we stay hydrated. I know that you can get play, uh, water on the plane as well and don't hesitate to ask, they will give it to you. But I like to have the bottle myself as well, for myself. So then, um, so yeah, so once I'm on a plane, I like first things first is we always choose our seats because we've got two teenagers and uh, we always try to make sure we're all kind of sitting together. So this time around I'm sitting with my daughter. So um, what our plan is once we sit down, she is a bit of a panicker when it comes to flight. So I just want to make sure that we settle in, we have everything that we need. So when the plane does take off, I can concentrate on her rather than uh, myself. So. So like, like I said, I put, put everything that I want to use n nearby, uh, keep things that I don't want to use up top and uh, have everything that I need handy right there in front of me kind of thing. So, um, and then um, once we kind of get through that, um, I plan out what, how I'm going to get through this 
this flight. So I know that at home before bed, uh, I like to read. So I'm going to kind of leave that for when I'm ready to go f to sleep. Um, because we're leaving at 5, like 10 to 5, I think. But we are arriving at 7 a.m. the European time. Um, I would like to have a little bit of sleep in between. So I might have to... Um, use a sleeping pill or something like just to help me sleep so but uh, like I said I'd like to kind of plan out how I'm gonna do things when I'm gonna watch a movie what I'm gonna do so and for sleeping um, I'm gonna pack a blanket this one is nice and compact and small I also have a good memory foam pillow that I will be using and um, I also have the sleeping eye mask and then there are some earbuds too if in case if I need them and I'm also planning on for helping me to sleep I have some sleeping essential oil which is just lavender and eucalyptus and then I also um, made some tension in case if um, I feel a headache coming on and stuff like that I'd like to have those so and I also packing a pair of nice comfy fuzzy socks just so I am as as comfortable and warm if need be as possible so that's what's gonna for, for helping me to go to sleep for um, other entertainment I am bringing a Kobo I'm bringing an iPad with some movies and shows and um, I have loaded up some games like Candy Crush on it and then I'm also packing up some uh, deck of cards that if me and my daughter can play if she really wants to usually she just ignores me and goes on her iPad anyways but just in case if there is time and um, another thing that we have decided we're gonna use is we're gonna we're, we're packing up some beauty essentials I guess um it's good to kind of refresh yourself so like toothbrush toothpaste is not a bad thing um but I'm also packing up the Sephora pomegranate mask it's the overnight mask and the reason why my daughter and I both have one of these is we chose this one is because it clear it's clear so you don't really see it on and you can keep it on while you're trying to sleep um, I also have a face cleanser that I'm going to be packing and then I've packed some um, moisturizer, eye moisturizer, um, deodorant and um, also just basic um, makeup for when we are just before landing we can refresh our face, well I can refresh my face. So, oh and also one of the, the rainforest of the sea, the marine boosting mist, it's just nice to kind of spray your face and have it moisturized because you do dehydrate quite a bit on a flight so um i'm just looking at my notes i think that's uh that's about it yeah i'm planning on walking around the plane i don't care what people think of me when i'm walking around the plane but just to stretch on my legs um and i'm hope like i really do hope that i can at least sleep for two hours or so just to kind of because once we land, I don't want to go to sleep right away, so, but we'll see, depends, I, some things I just can't control. So I hope you found this video helpful, if you did, give me a thumbs up, and I will let you know how my flight went. Thanks for watching.